Miss Universe Philippines is going viral. Let's talk about it. Let's run the clip. Bulacan! And our first runner-up is Kainta. Boom, Andrew, you've seen the clips. Andrew, Chelsea Manolo. Here, here is the title. It reads, Miss Universe Philippines crowns first black Filipino winner. Black Filipino model Chelsea Manolo makes history as she's crowned Miss Universe Philippines. Andrew, some people say she's a front runner to potentially win the whole thing in Mexico. Woo, guys, we got to talk about it because we're going to be covering the top seven comments because there was a lot of comments from people from the Philippines and people outside of the Philippines, but we're going to analyze the comments. You let us know what you think in the comments down below. Please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. We also got the super thanks button right Pl there below. Plus, you know, in the Philippines, we do battle you our beauty pageants quite a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is true, guys. Miss Philippines, they always go viral and get talked about for some reason. Let me just say this. Chelsea Manolo is incredibly gorgeous. She's fine. She's hot. But oh let's, my let's, goodness. Let's take a look at who she beat out in the field, Andrew. The number one uh, front runner for the internal Miss Philippines that she won, Andrew, was Atisa Manolo. Oh, interestingly enough, yeah. I don't think she's related. Okay. Yeah, I guess Manolo's a pretty common last name. Uh, number two was Christy. Number three was Victoria. Number four was Chelsea. And number five was Chris. And a lot of people were saying, Andrew, that Miss Philippines traditionally have almost looked like Hapa, but more like Filipino mixed with white. Right. They've always looked kind of mixed, I guess. Even though we know that the Philippines is a very mixed place, that's kind of the sentiment in a lot of these comments. But anyways, basically at this point, Chelsea Manolo, shout out to her, she will be now competing in the larger Miss Universe to represent the Philippines. The Philippines Miss Universe was pulling Filipino contestants from all over the globe to see who would compete on behalf of the Philippines. Right, in the international global competition, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And I think that this really opens up a really interesting discussion about colonialism, colorism. Is it changing now? Because obviously um, just people are more, I guess more diverse and more open and getting away from the old days. Right, I mean, I mean, all different shades are representing all different countries now. So, you know, every almost... Every country is, to an extent, an immigrant country on some level. More than they were. Yes. Obviously, not to the level of the new world in America. Um, Andrew, in Japan, they had a J uh, Japanese Miss Universe, Ariana Miyamoto. Yeah. I mean, and let's be honest, guys. A lot of the Miss Universes are oftentimes mixed because... I don't know, either people find them the most beautiful. Maybe they also come from those circles, like their social status or their family comes from those elite circles where they would get into this kind of stuff early on. Or for whatever reason, usually I, I, it's white. I just think that you want, it, it's messed up to say, but it's like, if you're going to compete in a global competition, sometimes your phenotype, if you just take a 100% local native person, it doesn't seem as competitive on a global scale, right? Because everybody's going to be bringing like people from Latin countries that are already ancient mixed for yeah, like yeah. hundreds of years. I think it's just weird that whether you're from the Philippines or Latin America, then like the beauty queens, Miss Universe looks similar, usually. Well, you they all look like Barbies. Yes. They so, all look like Barbies, but with a different ethnic twist. Yeah, they all look one third Barbie, actually. <laughs> Uh, or AI generated, right. but in a gorgeous way. Uh, Crystal K. Andrew was a popular half black, half Japanese pop star in Japan for a long time. Luo Jing was uh, on China's next top supermodel as a half black, half Chinese mm -hmm. contestant. Apple the App is from the Philippines. Andrew Her is also a half black, half Filipino. Um, so a lot of people were basically were talking about how this is a break from the classic pattern of more white passing Filipino uh, beauty pageant winners. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's a big change because it is true that for uh, Chelsea Manolo, Andrew, a lot of the global modeling campaigns that she's been in, she plays as a black model. Mm. Like that's, uh, she's been in like Black Beauty or like, uh, you know, different ad campaigns for different companies. Right. Um, so anyway, let's just get into the first comment. It says, finally not white. This is a win against colonialism. Mm. I mean, I guess, what do you think it is? If there was like, let's just say, for example, let's analyze the last 20 years of Miss Philippines winners, and they've definitely been either lighter skinned Filipinos or half white themselves. Is it a big change for one to be half black? 
Uh, I mean, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that, uh, you know, traditionally it's usually the white features that are valued more. But, I mean, here, I mean, dude, Manolo is fire. Like, I don't know any guy who would, you know, not want to marry her. You know what I mean? So, I guess, like, I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, she has pretty dark skin. So, and uh, I don't know. Like, I she looks almost like some just African girls I've seen. Like her eyes are a little bit more Asian, but you know, if you've ever met black people who would end up having a little bit more Asian eyes, you know, they usually get an Asian nickname growing up because they look the most Asian out of their friend group, even though they're full black. Yes, it's right. like that. Well, some black people were in the comment section wondering if she was Guyanese or Trinidadian or something like that. Like, anyway, moving on to number two. Um, this is a comment that you saw from more white people. Why do we have to mention that she's black in the first one? Why can't we just celebrate her achievements without mentioning the racial component? Mm, you mean without mentioning her mix? Yeah, I mean- Or the, I, no, the fact that it was a break from the pattern. Right, right, right. I mean, I do think that they are going to give her a boost for- breaking the pattern, you know, for the agenda of, you know, pushing more diverse Miss Universes and stuff like that. So I think there is a little bit of that for sure, the political game. But uh, I don't know. But maybe I mean, it's good too because, like, if all the winners were all half Spanish or half Italian for, like, 50 years, I mean, they got to break from it, right? Right. Um, point number three. Somebody said, how come there's still no full Filipino uh, no full Filipino beauty queens, but I'm happy for? This is more from the Philippines. Yeah, I mean, listen, if there's no full Filipino, first of all, a lot of Filipinos we know are mixed. But yes, it does seem like a lot of these women right here on this picture, right, of these contestants, oh, you're they're about the definitely contestants. mixed. Yeah, they're definitely mixed with something, whether it's uh, Latino, some European blood, or black you know, blood. So I'm saying like, at the end of the day, I guess this is just something that the Philippines would figure out. Like if the Philippines or this uh, organization that puts this on doesn't really mind, then that's on them, right? Like, I don't know. Like, obviously whiteness and like being tanner or darker skin in the Philippines has always been a conversation, right? Because right. it's always been a colonized place. So of course there's always that conversation. But so, I guess, is it more comparable to a Latin American country where there's such a wide spectrum of looks that are legitimately Filipino because it's not, I guess, as homogenous. Yeah. I mean, dude, if you looked at this Miss Philippines list, it looks like some of them are appear to be like some of the girls seem to be Arab. Some of them seem to be more Asian. Some of them seem let, Latino. I, some I was of them seem say more some black. Of them look like Indian. Like, like two of them, two of them are mixed black. You know, I, I would say the and, ones that looked the most Filipino to me in like what I grew up with was 15, 18, 19, and 20. I know, but then that's also just basing it on what we know is Filipino. And if all of these women are either from the Philippines or of Filipino parents, I mean, of course, them being mixed is going to make them look different, but... Filipinos is a mixed place. Right, right, right. Point number four. Somebody said one little token win is not going to change centuries of programming or colonized thinking. Yeah? I mean, I think it just could be a start, though. Yeah. And especially for the older generation, it goes to show you that the younger generation is just thinking Listen, more Listen, media matters. Like, what if she starts dating, like, the most famous Filipino actor or something like that? You know, that's going to change things. And then now what bloodline... if she starts dating Jordan Clarkson, then that would be the best. That would... <laughs> If she started dating Jordan Clarkson, I actually I feel like no, no she would be the the black Filipino. No, takeover. but she would have to. Yeah, that would be the black Filipino power couple. But I'm saying that really she would need to for it to matter in the Philippines and make an impact is that she needs to date like the top Filipino actor in the Philippines, like a Filipino male celebrity. Oh, okay. And then they need yeah. to have a family, and now their bloodline is part black. Right, right, right. You're saying like the one of the Hoppa guys or something like sure. that. Sure. Point number five, can she be as just as Filipino as she is black? So basically, there was three different people asking this with three different agendas. Some white people were asking this. Why? And of course, this is like a white black beef, right? But then some Filipinos were asking, how come in the media they're just calling her black? Well, can she also be Filipino? So some Filipino people were asking that. And then I looked on the Blasian Reddit and even the Blasian Reddit was kind of like, ah, oh, man, I feel like my Asian side is also always downplayed by the media too. So mm. I'm saying that these are three different people wondering why the Western media is positioning her as black, but obviously for different reasons. Mm. I mean, I guess it's because, 
I don't know. Is it just because she was black passing? I don't know. Point number six, Andrew. Somebody said the native Filipinos themselves were black, and this turned into a gigantic debate. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this. Obviously, this is the bit the debate pointing out like the uh, Filipinos in the mountains, like the Aitas or, or Negrito, the Negritos. Right? Um, they appear to be more black. Now, here's my question. I'm not a DNA expert, but I do know this: that people visually can look more similar. And they're not necessarily that connected. Right. Right. Like, there's people, there's Asian people who I know are 0% European, but they have more European features. It's just because we associate those features with European blood. But you can, in fact, have Western features without being of European blood. Yes. I mean, long story short, I mean, I don't want to get into it because people are going to be like, oh, who made you the expert? I just did some research. Basically, at Homo erectus, which is like one of the transition points between like a, essentially like a Neanderthal and like a human, Asians sort of split off and they have like, that's why you can have somebody who looks Ainu and in Japan who looks white and somebody who looks Aita in the Philippines that looks black, but they're still all Asian genetically. Right. Right. But they just look like they could be white or black. Mm. So anyway, that, that's just me based off DNA research. Anyway, guys, ultimately, I'll tell you this. I am happy for Chelsea Manolo. I'm really glad she won. I hope she wins the whole thing in Mexico because it is a cool story about, like, what, transracialism? Oh, yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, like, and, and I mean, hey, hey, shout out to her dad the, who raised her. He's, he looks like a Chinoy. Yeah. He looks like a Chinese <laughs> Filipino guy. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. I mean, I think it is true the Philippines being such a mixed place over time. Is there some sense that the native Filipino look is not getting as much attention and not getting on as much as they should be. I mean, I would agree probably not, you know, but uh, either way, I'm happy for her because she's breaking just whatever was usually happens. And, you know, anytime that happens, that is cool to see. So yeah. it, it helps would, to have a one in a hundred million gorgeous Barbie look. Too. Oh my gosh. She is, she's Chelsea Manala. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think. And until next time, we out. Peace.